is where the, the competition really gets spicy. And our Tuesdays have been proving to be very, uh, very good on the quality end lately, which is just a genuinely nice surprise. Uh, yeah, but Tuesdays have always been more the emphasis of grinding up. Fridays, the uh, that's the big day to perform. Ooh, milk rolling in with the Aegis. Okay, so we're gonna start off tonight. With Diddy Kong versus Aegis, JDV versus Milk, and on Pokemon Stadium too. This is probably best case scenario I feel for Derek because his Diddy Kong is gonna be able to control a ton of space against both Pyra and Mithra. But likewise, if Milk is able to take the banana, he best <laughs> off make sure that he can use it. That's one thing I've always loved about watching Derek. Like, he will make use of the Rocket Barrel pack as aggressively as he can, if there's even just a little bit of a uh, room for the situation. Yeah, it's very surprising, but also very funny on occasion. <laughs> oh, it, it's hilarious. Because it's, it's not sheer random luck. There is a minor amount of control for the uh, Rocket Barrel pack. Even if it doesn't look that way. Regardless, this is going to be a fast-paced match as far as how the damage racks up on both ends. And we're seeing that reflected in JDB almost securing first kill. Oh, oh. but a misinput there. Yeah, that was almost disastrous, I'm not going to lie. All right. I, I kind of like that. Even though JDB had the, uh, the confirm off the first down tilt, scouted out to see the DI. Noticed Milk holding out really far. And then just followed appropriately with a bit of a dash before the up smash. Good scouting on Derek. Yeah, definitely get that information early in the set. Make your decisions a little bit easier later on. Yeah, especially when it comes to Diddy Kong, because just as good as all of his tools are for controlling space, like, movement is the biggest thing that you have control over for yourself. And Diddy Kong actually offers a lot by way of micro spacing, which a lot of characters in this game actually can't take claim to. But... I think Derek has a very strong sense of how to pilot Diddy Kong, and as a player, he's been growing in ways that really showcase his understanding of a very good character. So, Milk's got his work cut out for him if he wants to try to keep even grounds, but thankfully switching over to Pyra at these later percentages makes that a much easier uh, job. Although he has been struggling to find the uh, hit that matters now as Derek manages to be up three to one on the stock count. Yeah, it seems like Milk is struggling to get that one hit that he needs, while Derek is just getting as many as he needs. Like, he's performing a really strong sense of rushdown, unfortunately swinging into the Pyrus Sword. Leaves you a little bit uh, to be desired. Although that's still a 2-1 stock count. Mm -hmm. Foresight not really helping there too much. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Even the banana hit in for just a little bit more. And from the other side of the stage, that was almost it too, but yeah. Milk falling out the other way. Left him in a bit better uh, situation. That should be it. Yeah, even with, even with that DI, not much help in Milk there. Pretty handedly, game one's going in favor of JDV. So what are some hopeful adjustments you have for the, the man milk? Uh, for one thing, being mindful about swinging in the air, uh, the Aegis are able to swing fast. Uh, yeah. Mithra especially so. And Diddy Kong has a very strong way about controlling the air with his normals. Forward air in particular is actually really nicely disjointed. So if milk is aware of that, being able to uh, either anti-air forward air or try to uh, outspace it with back air or uh, Pyra's forward air or back air, you'll be able to at least knock Diddy out of the sky, giving you a little bit more room for uh, safe landings. It looks like the pick to small battlefield is going to be what we have for game two, and I do like this uh, decision. It's going to be a little bit less space for Diddy to uh, control and invite a lot more opportunity for scrambles. Okay. Uh, and I do feel like once those percentages start to climb, scrambles are going to benefit Milk far more than they are Derek. Something happening? Oh, we got the music change? The double no, they, music change? I think it was because they went random somehow. Somehow they got switched to random on the select. All right, he wants his uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 battle music. 
Gotta give it to the man. All right, Xenoblade fan through and through. Mm -hmm. I like it, I like it. Rep well, your game, guys. Rep your game. Although with Soul Arts in the building, can't, I don't know if you can stake claim to being number one fan. Go! Oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> so now with the stage layout being similar to PS2, you'd think that Diddy Kong has a similar way of controlling space, but because it is tighter, it actually does invite a bit more uh, contest to the platforms. And I think that'll help Milk out a lot if he's willing to fight for base plot more frequently. Because then that airspace becomes a lot more valuable to control. Oh, I like the idea of using the projectiles from afar, but D Kong a little bit too fast in the air. You gotta commit to that preemptively. Something that I'm seeing a little bit is that there's a little bit of fishing from Milk even at earlier percents, like fishing for a forward smash or something. With Mithra, it's a really good way of not only building on a lot of damage quickly, but also just getting yourself stage control. As for Pyra, given that Diddy Kong is in the lightweights, eh, he's on like the heavier end of the lightweights, not quite a midweight. Regardless, like he's on the lighter end of the cast. So like, if you're eating a forward smash at these percentages, you are very gone. Okay. Just a little something I noticed from Milk. Oh, oh, we almost had the danger drop. Yeah, almost got that cheeky one there. <laughs> I love it. I... Ooh, it's a bit too far, I think, unless he gets max charge. Yeah, all right. Good recovery on Derek, but forward Ooh. tilt spells curtains. That's max rage, Pyra forward tilt, too, and I'm pretty sure it was fresh. Yeah. So. That was more ooh that he swung even after the, the neutral beam whip. Oh, we don't want to see that. Nah, yeah. Proton Edge just a little bit too low. It seems that Milk is looking a lot more comfortable to swing in this game, too, which on one end I, I like. Like I was saying earlier, both the ages can swing pretty fast. And as long as you get yourself into the general flow of Nipper taking stage control and Pyro taking stocks, you ought to be fine against Diddy Kong. The matchup isn't especially bad for the Aegis when it comes to fighting for stage control. But if Derek sits with Banana in control of the ledge, it becomes a lot more of a grim story. Yeah. Like, you're already seeing a lot of the value in down tilt as just a free hit confirm. Uh, how freely Derek can contest space with Banana. Those banana end up leading to a pretty wayward attack right there. Yeah, this is the part that's really hard for the ages. Like coming off the ledge, because once Banana's in hand, there's so many situations that fall into favor for Diddy. And worst case scenario, you break to neutral at center stage, which isn't even the worst of situations to be in as Diddy Kong. Ooh, Milk flying off real deep, trying to get something going, but with good DI, Derek surviving the up -beam. Yeah, I was almost convinced that would kill, but I uh, guess not strong enough at that point. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it was from the opposite side of stage, so it was a little too much. Mm -hmm. Elbow bumps all around, but that is JDV taking first set of the night 2-0.